Hey guys, it's DJ Jam with Digital DJ Tips. We've gotten through the worst of all of this now in writing a DJ bio and designing a logo. Now we get to the fun part, taking your promotional photo or photos. You've probably seen many times how much fun we have all over the internet making fun of the people who take hideous photos and believe me, there are a lot of hideous photos of DJs out there. The one thing many have to realize when you're taking a promo photo, it's like when you're making a logo. This is supposed to be a branding issue. This is you. This is the persona of you. You notice every single star out there, when they have an official photo, it's always something that represents them as an artist. Granted, there's candid shots that can go out there and that's perfectly fine, but <clears throat> if you see their face on a flyer, it's generally going to be an image that represents their brand. Always keep that in mind. Now, if you're going to do your own photos, first thing is don't just go run out with a camera and think that's all you need to do. Always plan your shoots. Go first out on the internet, start looking for inspiration. Look at the DJs you respect, look at other DJs, look even at, I got to be honest, fashion photos. And I'm not talking about scantily clad, but just clothing. Get ideas from this. You might think that might look good, that might look good. I honestly always thought that the Global Underground series of mixes, they used to make the mix CDs, the photos on the cover were amazing in my book. That was always what I felt represented the true global kind of DJ. And I always use that as a model for anything whenever I tell anybody about taking a DJ photo. Some might disagree and maybe your branding might not fit to that, but it's a good start. Go and make a list of the settings. I'm talking the places that you want to go have photos taken in. You know, don't just go out with a camera. Go around your town. Go to places. Go find where you think, oh, this would be a nice spot for a photo. Because then you can plan it. You can plan in terms of how this place looks, what you should wear that moment, and maybe where you should stand. And also, is this outside somewhere? Do I have to think about the weather? On top of all this, you should also, in your plans, have a take one shot that's on a plain color background. It might seem strange, <clears throat> but this is, could be the photo they're going to use to basically throw on a flyer or cut you out of the background and do something else. It's always about usage. You cannot just think about, well, this is just me. Every photo has to serve a purpose. You're going to use them for your bio pages. You're going to use them if somebody interviews you. And also, especially if someone's going to take that image and put on a flyer with a plain background one, they can either cut you off and stick you on there with stars and fireworks behind you, or better yet, they can just extend the side and put all the text of the flyer right next to you, which to be honest, that makes you look really good. Not to just the designers, but to the public, because then it's going to be a well-designed flyer that speaks to your brand. Now, if you're going to go out and take your own photos or have someone take them for you, here's a few things I want you to think about. Number one, Take the sunglasses off. I'm serious. I see so many photos with everybody wearing sunglasses thinking it makes them look like a rock star or celebrity. It doesn't. It makes you look pretentious. And that's not something you want. You're supposed to be fun, not God on high that everybody should worship. The only time you can wear the sunglasses is when you're filling a club with 10,000 people or more. Also, it's okay to smile don't have to always look like being Mr. Mean and tough and I'm going to kill somebody the first person looks at. I see so many DJs have this mean, cold face on. And again, look at the inspiration photos like the Global Underground. Do you see any of these guys looking like they're going to kill the next person that talks to them? No. They are just look sort of, you know, simple. They don't look too emotional. Practice, you know, in front of a mirror. Get your facial poses down. I, I do that all the time whenever I've taken bio photos. I'm also going to tell you, refrain from trying too hard. If you want to know what this means, I'll illustrate. Now, how ridiculous do I look right now? And yet you see how many guys out there doing this. <clears throat> you're selling you. If you're a fun, lighthearted, happy person, then why are you going to go out there and try to look like a douchebag? It's always about your branding and what image you're trying to put out there of yourself. I would also suggest you dress 
for your photos, not just in a way that works with the setting you're in, but also in the way that matches to what your style is when you go to the club. If you have, let's say, some amazing designer shirt that you put on and you go out there looking like a fashion model, but then you show up to the club wearing a hoodie and jeans, that's not good. You should dress for the photos the way you would dress to a gig. It's all about image. You wouldn't see Daft Punk show up to a gig in their civvies and then get their posing in their robot suits. I would also suggest that you pose alone. Now, if you're part of a crew of DJs and you're doing a shot like that, definitely, but still get single shots. The one photo I'm mostly talking about is this one. I don't know what this guy was thinking, but to be honest, this makes him look more ridiculous than it does as some kind of pimp or cool or whatever like that. Pose alone in your photos and look like a professional. And the one big one, huge one, is don't bring any DJ gear unless you're actually being shot at a gig or something of that nature. That means no mixer on your shoulders, no headphones on your neck without anything else, no turntable in your hand doing this. It doesn't make you look great, it makes you look ridiculous. We know you're a DJ, you don't need to go that far. If you're branding yourself as a DJ and you show that photo, I'm gonna say that's a DJ. He doesn't need to have gear with him. Now we're getting to the actual shooting. The first thing I want you to realize is you don't need a high-end camera for this. If you have access to one, great. But if you don't, don't worry. Use your smartphone, use a little point and shoot, whatever you have access to. Just make sure it can take a nice, good, high resolution photo. What I mean by that is something that can be printed as opposed to just something small that you throw on Facebook. You need to have print ready photos, so therefore you can use them for flyers or whatever other promotional mediums you might have. Um, if you want access to a photographer and don't have really any money to spend, try advertising. Go on Craigslist or something of that nature, whatever is in your neck of the woods, and just say, I need photos taken. I have. I can buy you lunch or something like that. You might get a photography student who needs the, the stuff for his portfolio. Give them tickets to your event or something like that maybe, or buy them a couple of drinks. You'd be surprised how easy this is to do. Um, if you're going to also shoot or have a friend do it, explore all the functions of your camera. Now on smartphones you don't get a lot of functions, but let's say if you're using a DSLR or a point and shoot, they have all these different presettings. Try them out. Don't just shoot like you would at a, at a house or a party. Just try them out. Find what's going to look good for you. Take lots of shots. This is all digital. You don't have to waste money on film. Take 50, 60 shots because that usually you take that many and end up with one that you like. That's how this game works. Also try to shoot natural light. That means stay out of the harsh sun so you don't have shadows casting off your face. But also try to really try to stay away from using the flash unless you have a, you know, a photographer that knows what they're doing with that flash. If you ever see at parties or other places somebody takes a photo with a flash, your face is suddenly pale white and you look horrible. That's why I always say turn the flash off, shoot in the natural light. Go out in the daytime, a cloudy day is the most ideal because then all the light is soft and you look great. And finally, if you're going to shoot in a club, I mean, if you are the one who owns the camera and you have a nice speed light on top, buy a diffuser for it. That'll soften the light. But I would also suggest going before the club opens. So if your set is, let's say, at 11 or whatever, and the club opens at 9, show up at 8 while they're all setting up and have your friend take some photos of you in the booth. It sounds silly, but think about it. The house lights will be on. You'll have great lighting. Everything will look good. There'll be no distractions. The room won't be filled with fog. All the elements are right there. Because if it's a shot of you and they're not going to see people around it, it's not going to matter if it was at 8 o'clock at night or 3 in the morning. Um, another thing is if you don't even have access, let's say you're not, you don't have a residency anywhere but you have a friend who does, ask them if they can do it. Because in-club shots do look good. And that's pretty much what I have for you in terms of taking photos. That's the basics. If you want to know more, please ask me questions in the comments or join our forum and sign on to Digital DJ Tips. There's a lot of great content there at your disposal. Thank you.